Every time I think I help you take your casserole to the next level, I level it up again. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this delicious and easy seafood casserole. You ready? Get in your kitchen, let's go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let me tell you what we have right here, guys. Very easy recipe, not many ingredients, but it's very simple to make. So right here, I have some scallops. I cut them in a little bit of pieces like this, kind of bite-sized pieces. Here I have some shrimp. Now I'm using the smaller shrimp instead of medium or jumbo shrimp. If you got large shrimp, if you got medium shrimp, just cut them into like two pieces. But with these small shrimp, all you have is, you don't need to end up cutting them because there's just so many of them like this. And right here we have our fish. I'm using cod. Now guys, you can use any type of white fish like pollock, tilapia. Right here we have some heavy whipping cream. If you don't have heavy whipping cream, you can use half and half of milk. We have some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, some garlic cloves minced here, some Swiss cheese right here, some onions, butter, Cajun seasoning, and we have some freshly chopped parsley. So y'all ready? Let's get to it. All right, so what we're gonna, we're gonna start off by greasing our bacon dish. Now this is, this is like a seven by 11. I think we'll be able to get it, get the job done in this right here. You wanna take a few of your butter pieces. You just wanna add them to the bottom of this pan like this, a bacon dish, whatever, what you wanna call it. And then you wanna take your fish, and just add it to the bottom, just like this. Try to spread it out as evenly as possible. And guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that Hunter Seafood Seasoning. I realized I had that. I'll leave the link in the video description for this right here. I like his seafood seasoning. And I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit over that um, fish like that. We're gonna come behind that with our scallops, add them to the top over our fish. Do the same thing, I'm gonna layer it with some of that seafood seasoning, just lightly. Then we're gonna come behind that, of course, with our shrimp. And of course, you wanna make sure these are spread evenly also throughout your casserole. I'm gonna do the same thing, add a little of that seafood seasoning, but also add my Cajun seasoning. We're gonna top that with our garlic cloves. Not cloves, I mean our chopped garlic. You know what I mean? Y'all don't be stingy with the garlic. Come behind that with your onions. Next, we're gonna pour our heavy whipping cream over the top. Just like that. We'll add our butter here. We're gonna add our Swiss cheese. We're gonna to top that with our Parmesan cheese, just a little Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle it with a little paprika, a little smoked paprika on the top. Add some of that fresh parsley. All right, now I've already preheated our oven to 375 degrees. We're gonna stick this in that oven. I'm gonna put mine in my air fryer oven and we're gonna let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure you don't overcook it because you don't wanna overcook those shrimp, all right? So let's get it in the oven, 15 to 20 minutes, all right? Guys, let's take a look at what we have right here. Guys, take a look at that. Oh, buddy. Let's just, let's get this over on the cutting board so we can check it out, and that way we can jump in the quality control and I'm ready to chase this out. All right, let's get over there. All right, so let's get in the quality control. I got my seafood casserole here. Man, let's go ahead. Oh, let's not waste no time. Mmm, oh well. Let me get some of that cheese on there. Oh. Mmm, so 
Until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli. Always everything. And remember, him not a chef. He just cook a lot. And now I'm out. Peace. Mm, mm, mm.